In this chapter, we will discuss user interaction in the asterisk dial plan. There are two primary ways that a caller can provide input to a PBX system through what is known as an IVR, or Interactive Voice Response. These methods are DTMF, or Touch Tone Input, and a more modern approach utilizing speech recognition. We will focus in this course only on the more traditional DTMF input style. Speech recognition is a powerful and flexible tool, but it is more complicated than DTMF and not nearly as widely used. In this course, our goal is to cover the essentials of asterisk. So let's start off with a brief introduction to what DTMF is. Half a century ago, before DTMF was available, dial digits were signaled to the phone company using a system called pulse dialing. If you have ever used a rotary dial telephone, then you have used pulse dialing, which is a simple method of opening and closing the two-wire loop to the phone provider switch resulting in an audible click. One click represents the digit 1, two clicks for the digit 2, and so on. This method was simple and effective, but not perfect. Among its problems was that it was susceptible to degradation over long distances. In the second half of the 20th century, DTMF replaced pulse dialing as the method of choice. However, asterisk and most telephone equipment still supports pulse dialing for backwards compatibility. DTMF was created at AT&T with the intent to provide more reliable signaling where signal noise, or attenuation, made pulse dialing problematic. It was also a goal to provide extensibility for future use in interfacing with other technologies. DTMF stands for Dual Tone Multi Frequency. Each digit on a standard telephone keypad is represented by a combination of two unique tones, one from the column on the left and another from the row at the top. These frequencies were carefully chosen to minimize the likelihood of confusing one tone with another. Because there are two tones to represent each digit, it's very uncommon for human speech to be mistakenly interpreted as DTMF. In the next few modules, we will frequently refer to asterisk DTMF detection in the context of interactive dial plans. Specifically, we will highlight key dial plan applications that are essential in this regard, such as background and weight extend as well as a number of other applications that an asterisk administrator will use when scripting IVR functionality in the asterisk dial plan.